If you've ever tried to learn any skill, you might have realized that if you do said skill with someone that is more experienced than you, it's by far one of the greatest ways to learn things. So today what we're going to be doing is a completely raw demonstration of filming a cinematic sequence. We got some really cool creative shots that we're going to be doing. And the way that I'm going to do this and how I'm going to capture it in such a raw way is by shooting it with one of these. This is the Pano X V2 amazing new little 360 cam that just came out. They are the sponsor of today's video. We're gonna be filming on my normal Sony a7S III for our actual cinematic sequence, but I'm gonna attach this to my camera so you guys can see everything that I'm seeing like you're right there with me and just getting the full immersive experience. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you what we were actually able to film once I've like edited it with some cool tricks, techniques, music, all of that good stuff and you guys can see what the actual end result is. There's also going to be an editing version of the same editing sequence where I show you guys a raw way how you can edit it. If uh, it's out by the time you're watching this, I'll link it up in the top. It's going to come out in next week's video if this one's brand new. The Pano XV2 is a crazy 360 camera with a half inch sensor. It does like 4K, 8K. It has this huge touch display on the front. This thing is an absolute beast so the quality that you guys are going to be seeing is going to be amazing so i'm over on the pano xv2 you can see this ridiculous setup that i've got but you guys can see everything here you can see everything that i'm filming and it's like the perfect way to demo stuff our first shot that we're going to be getting is of ellie just getting out the car here this isn't necessarily going to be our first shot in sequence but it's going to be the first shot that we capture the idea for this is we have some really cool light coming through ellie's gonna pretend that she's like stopping here um and then she's gonna get out and just walk out into that view there ever ellie is ready we're gonna pull back and she's gonna get out of the car ready ellie yeah. three two one go <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to get one of Ellie driving up here um, because it looks really cool with the light. So Ellie, you can drive. And these are just going to be like a few quick shots that I'm going to use in the beginning of the video. We can do a little pullback as well to match our previous shot. So we're just going to get a couple of shots of Ellie driving here. It looks pretty sick. Super nice. Yeah, this is looking really cool. I'm still on my wide lens, 20 millimeters. And this is looking pretty sick. And then I'm gonna get one kind of looking past like this as well. And these are just gonna be used like really quickly. I'm gonna get one like this. And then I'm also gonna get a little sketchy and get out of the car here and just get some of this road going. And I, I'm going to do somewhat of a slow shutter. Just kind of like this. And that's just going to be like an opener. Okay, next location is this really cool like beach setup. We got some crazy rocks and as the sun goes down, we're just going to shoot here and we're going to shoot at the water as well. We're going to start off, I'm still on my 20 mil lens. It's nice and wide so we can like get this whole landscape in. We're just gonna get a nice shot of Ellie kind of walking out here. So Ellie, you can walk. I'm just gonna do my best to keep it stable, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna favor the sun. So I'm gonna keep the sun like kind of behind Ellie. Um, let's keep walking down here and shoot into the light, being on shadow side, because I think that looks pretty cool. And I'm not looking to capture like any super perfect shot. I just wanna get a wide variety here and I can cut these together later on and pick the really like good bits out of it. See, this is cool. And I'm just going like close ups and wides. Get some foot action. Okay, that's cool. Gonna get a cool one of Ellie kind of going through this thing with the sun like flaring out. The whole idea that what I'm going for here is like sun flares and everything coming out past Ellie. So shooting her shadow side. Uh, is gonna look the best for this. So if you want to walk through there nicely and I am shooting everything in 120 So we got some nice slow-mo vibes Super cool Just trying to stay on this side as much as I can. Yeah, keep going 
gonna look cool. Low ones, these floaty plants are gonna look sick in the slow-mo action. And stay to the left of the path as much as you can. All right, let's get something cool here. I'm gonna see if I can come out of this cave and like frame Ellie up. It's a little tricky with the side camera. Ah, oh, this is sick. Okay, so just kind of slow movements like you can turn and flow. I always try to get Ellie or whoever I'm shooting to try and just do little movements to make it more interesting. Okay, you ready? Sick one, okay. It seems like I'm doing a lot of the same thing and it's kind of stupid, but some of these shots are gonna turn out really nice. Let's actually go this way and we get some really nice flare through there, like from here. Uh, and to mix it up, I am not gonna follow Ellie now, I'm gonna do a straight slide. So you can just walk out there. We've got that sun flare popping. Okay, I'm gonna do a little lens swap because I'm still on my 20 mil and it's nice, it's wide, I can see a lot of what's going on. But I'm gonna swap over to my 24 to 70, my Sigma lens. Um, it's gonna let me get some nice details and stuff of Ellie and kind of just play around a bit more with what's going on here, some of the compression and stuff like that. So let's swap it over. I'm being pretty opportunistic here and just kind of seeing what I see and trying to shoot those things. So I'm not having too much of a plan. I do have some shots in mind that I wanna get, um, but I'm also just kind of seeing the opportunities that are around. Ellie, uh, for this shot, the opportunity we're gonna take is, let's get you, if you face the other way, yeah. like facing that way, and if you look back like that, like kind of over me, it looks really nice, and I'm gonna kind of get your face. So you can just move around freely, yeah, and you can look like past me and then back, and look past me again, yeah. And you'll notice I'm just like kind of repeating the same things here, and then I'll just take a little, two second thing of it when I'm editing. That looks really cool. A little loud, but we're gonna get a few more shots of Ellie on the edge of the water here, because it looks super cool. So Ellie, do you kind of want to like walk to the edge of the water there and just like kind of move around, do a couple cheesy twirlies. Remember the video I said the other day where you got to do the cringe to get the cool stuff? We're doing it in action now. So get as cringy as you can, Ellie. Do some twirlies. Okay, go. Okay. Spin, super nice, that was really nice. Okay, one more of those. I'm gonna come with Ellie on this one. Okay, go, and a little spin. That is really pretty, we got some sun flare. You're gonna have to do it one more time, yeah. embracing all the cringe. Okay, go. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Sorry, I messed that up, can you do one more? Just from there, yeah. Yeah, run a little bit. Okay, go. Okay, go. Okay. Okay. And then a nice close up of your feet if you want to go into the water, and I'll be nice and down there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I'm going to add some camera movement to give it some energy. And Ellie, you can move and kind of turn and look to the sun and then look back to me. Super nice, really cool. And then let's get you walking out again. Yeah, just kind of walk to the edge and look around a bit and look back here. Yeah, and look away and move your feet in the water. Woo! <laughs> yeah, okay. And I got some nice foreground of Ellie because I got this rock on the side. We got some of this in the beginning. Yeah, super cool. Ah, it's beautiful, that sun just poking over the rock. I just want a shot or two of the waves and stuff to piece together between some of the shots of Eddie. Even like this, is perfect. So I can get a shot of the wave crashing. Super nice. And then I might get one like, here's a wave in the background, I can get it kind of coming onto this rock. Gonna splash. Kinda, not really. And what's also quite cool is, it almost looks like I'm in the ocean here. So I can get like a water shot. 
without getting wet. That's pretty cool. That one straight into here. Very cool. And like this nice, like hazy, uh, pinky water kind of looks rad. I'll get the smooth one. This is looking really cool. The mountain's looking really cool the opposite way. So when we're getting a shot of Ellie kind of just being on the rock with this mountain in the background, and I would like to try, yeah, that's really cool. Like do that looking back again. Yeah, and one more. Super cool. Okay, that is gonna be all of the shots that we need. Super fun little shoot, really unplanned, just run and gun style, capturing stuff out here. Let's take a look at how this video actually ends up when we do a full edit, music and everything. And if you guys do wanna see how we actually edited, that's coming out in the next video. If it's already out, it will be up here, but let's roll it. So that was it, super cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really fun making it. Thank you so much to Ellie for being our model for the day, getting all the cool shots of her running around on the beach and having the Pano X V2 to capture all of the 360 shots makes it so easy. It's like having another person filming here. You can do amazing stuff with one of these 360 cams and get super creative shots. If you guys wanna find out anything more about it, it's gonna be linked in the top of the description. Other than that, have fun, bye. bye.